Hello everyone, this is Ethan the Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. So, unfortunately, this is another um, pretty strong defense. It's not completely OP strong, but against teams like mine, it's pretty strong, because, of course, using airs, or in the case of people in Astro Season, Nagas, will be used against this team. And I'm fortunate, you know, I don't have that many offense structures, but even so, I can't have everyone out of attack range turn one. So that means I basically have to bait with someone turn one or be aggressive. And so, as it'll turn out here, the team isn't that heavily merged. The most merges are on Louise. Otherwise, Everything's kind of just pretty low merges, nothing too special. But, um, so I did a lot of calculations, and there you see the, the meme level 5. Okay, that's a bad frame to pause. Sure. Um, <laughs> so there's the meme level 5 infantry school there. And I'm pretty sure it's going to mat. It turns out it does matter here. Because I, if you sit back and do all the calculations like I did, um, so I calculate the matchup between Nino and Brave Lynn, Louise, and Leaf all on the same turn. And I did my calculations because I knew Leaf was going to attack first. He was going to do the most damage, so it was pretty clear that was going to happen. And so I saw that, well, he doesn't kill. And so I saw the next matchup would be against Brave Lynn, since she could live a counter due to Mola Gear null having dull ranged. And saw that, you know, Leaf would attack twice, Nino would proc noontime, and she would happen, from my calculations, she would be able to heal enough HP to tank a hit from Brave Lynn, and then she would just vantage kill Louise. And from there, it, it wasn't trivial to... F it wouldn't be trivial from there to pick up the other two ether structures, but the fact that Brave Veronica was there with just Panic Plus, no Pain Plus, meant I could definitely stall her out, and I would just have to be able to deal with um, the other two folks. But unfortunately, it turns out here um, that... I forgot that, well, Legendary Leaf comes with S-Drink here. <laughs> so he's actually going to get minus one cooldown on his special, which means he's going to proc it. And I don't process that because I was doing this brain dead, of course, like usual. And so he's going to do too much damage to Nino where she won't be able to survive Brave Lynn anymore. As you can see, she barely lives against Leaf's Moonbow, but... Yeah, I already computed that she wouldn't be able to one-shot Brave Lynn. So at this point, it's just survival mode. And I spent a bit of time thinking uh, how to approach this because since I don't use Escape Ladder at all, I don't know what that is, what that structure is, Kappa. <laughs> um, the goal is just to make it out alive. I don't really care about picking up the Ether structures. That would just be a bonus in this matchup because Cavlines, once you lose your main carry or carries for some people it, it's super difficult to deal with them and this is a pretty quote-unquote low investment unfortunately this lona there as you saw is um plus res and so she has sabotage defense and attack and speed play <laughs> so i was trying to set up a scenario where i could break the panic manner and get my plus 10 air buffed by plus 6 res by Caden, but and also have her in position to bait Lilona turn 1 while Nino goes and baits one of the archers on the right side turn 1 and well I couldn't get that to work without either air dying because a broadly fan on Lilona or I, I just simply couldn't get air to the spot where she could bait Lilona without getting without also baiting one of the archers so not not a great matchup for me but I feel like if I wasn't trying to troll like that 
if I if I if it did work out, then I would have made it this video a funny meme clear, but that's not how it went, so <laughs> we'll just we, we take it as we we'll take the win though. Spoilers, we do actually figure out how to win this matchup and not completely lose. But of course, I had to think a bit, and generally speaking, I don't usually like to have all the footage of me thinking, because it's just me tapping around trying to remember stuff, <laughs> because I keep forgetting things, so <laughs> kind of weird in that respect, but here I'm just seeing how I can maybe minimize losses, but I, I see that I'm going to have to drop another unit there's no real option because for example say i have i probably could have played this slightly better and saved one unit this um, phase here because i do end up instead of dancing Caden here i believe i dance air and take out bravelin maybe if i attacked uh bravelin with Caden, then i might have been able to salvage an extra unit but there's still some uh, particular archer named Rolf still around so <laughs> and no one can one-shot him so it was kind of like eh. at this point I knew that Lil no was just going to bop and we were gonna get the panic plus from Veronica so I, I don't think it would have mattered But yeah, not not the greatest matchup here. We're one attack short, of course. That's how it always works. <laughs> but unfortunately, we're left with our smite air, so not too great there. Not sure why I just didn't break the panic manner, but whatever. <laughs> and unfortunately, because this brave Veronica does not have dazzling staff, she actually has hardy bearing to make sure that she can get the hit against like. Panic, I mean, Vantage users. <laughs> I mean, it works, but it's just kind of weird in that respect, but it, it works, so. Here, we just, we're just we just going to burn turns, basically fooling around, because there's not really much we can do. We can, like, break the Panic Manor, but Rolf being around, just not great. And I was seeing maybe... I didn't see any conceivable way I could pick up the ether structures without losing the match. So, <laughs> not much of a choice there. And here at this point, I'm just like, let's just fool around with the AI. Because at this point, it doesn't really matter. I know that if I want to potentially save a unit, I have to use my 10,000 IQ kappa <laughs> and use their bolt trap against them to get free chip damage. And so... I actually already knew going into the matchup which bolt trap was real. Don't ask me how. I just have, I, I have a pretty darn decent intuition of that kind of stuff at this point of the game. But here, just in case that for some reason this person is not, you did not place their bolt traps how I was pretty confident they did, um, like where they placed the real bolt trap. I still wanted to attack Rolf here with air because I needed to get some damage on him to get Legendary Azura to murder him, but I feel like it wasn't going to work out anyways because of the healing tower. So it was basically an all-in gamble at this point, but I was willing to gamble it because y you got a meme. <laughs> and just casually know which bolt trap is real without actually having to use either of them. So, it's real and it's well max level, so I managed to save a unit here, which is nice, but, you know, that, that, was, just, that was just a big troll and pretty bad match for me. Honestly speaking, if we go back to the uh, first frame here, Honestly speaking, if I wanted to take this slow, I could have just baited, like, Rolf with Nino turn 1. I, I didn't really want to bait Lilona turn 1 because I would be too damaged at that point. I would take too much damage from her because of Broadly fan. So, I didn't want to do that. And, well, 
the follow-up after that is definitely suspicious. Because at least the air, my plus 10 air has a small chance of one-shotting Lilna, assuming there aren't as many ward calves as there were in their current formation. But yeah, if you do, if you do the calculations of what I did on the right side, you'll see that even with the minus six to all stats from the max level infantry school, Eno actually would have gotten in a triple kill, <laughs> uh, which is kind of funny, but that's what happens when the, the enemies aren't super highly invested in merges and whatnot. So, you know, against an actually full, an actual full plus 10 version of this team, I, I would not definitely have done that at all. Or I could even just have beta like Louise or someone, but yeah, it did, did not work out that way for me. <laughs> yeah, I think the main problem was just the fact that I couldn't set up a bait on Lilina because of Broadleaf Fan and the ploys and being plus, plus res. Is if she wasn't plus res, then I could have just danced with Legendary Zero to get plus five res and call it a day. But unfortunately, that wasn't good enough for the matchup, unfortunately. But yeah, I figured I would just still show this anyways, because this is just an example of how defenses where you don't necessarily need that much investment to get decent payoff. But like, you know, someone with a decent armored tank or whatnot could just plop their tank in and just get free kills left and right because none of them actually have that much kill power. Maybe Lilina combined with Brave Veronica might be decent, but her physical bulk's pretty bad, so she would probably only get one hit in. But, mo but yeah, most of them are just physical damage and they're like low 50s, mid 50s in attack, so... Not too strong offensively in that respect against your average Joe decent tank. But here, my team is not a tanking team, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, didn't really have much of an option there. But if you, if you think that there was a way I could have actually beat this team and gone both ether structures, let me know in the comment section below, of course, as usual. I think it would have to involve some play where I leave Veronica alive because she's she can, you know, attack Caden and Caden is not the most tanky unit in the world on the defensive side or even the res side, but he has more res because mine is plus res, I believe. So, uh it's kind, of, it's kind of useful in these kind of matchups with minus HP, man. It's super bane. But anyways, enough ranting. That's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. As always, this is Ether Dragon, and hope to see you all next time. Bye.